welcome back to another video guys today i'm gonna do my round four tips and predictions so let's smash it and get into it first game we've got brisbane vs collingwood thursday night 7 35 pm 6th of april um i'm really excited for this clash collingwood and brisbane collingwood really in form undefeated second on the ladder brisbane joe down her and Hipwood just can't get in form. Seven goals between them in three games. Down her kick four behind against the Dogs in Brisbane. Just have had a slow, sloppy start. I'm going to back in Collingwood. Um, but I reckon this will um, be close one. Not too close. But Brisbane will try and pull up a fight. But Collingwood will get the win. We saw how Collingwood and Tigers turned up. And that didn't turn out really good. So... I'm going to go Collingwood to win this one by nine points. Next game, we've got North Melbourne versus Carlton Friday. Good Friday clash. Good Friday appeal, 4.20 p.m. Uh, we have a crowd packed. Alistair Clarkson, Clarkson lost his game against Hawks. First loss is Arden Street. Carlton being not in form. They're also undefeated. I'm going to go for an upset here. Last week, my West Coast and Fremantle upset didn't really work out. But I'm going to go North Melbourne to beat Carlton. They haven't won a good Friday clash in a while. The dogs thrashed them last year and the year before by 100 points. But Carlton, they're, they're in form, but they don't look like they're going to get through it. Um, Walsh, he's looking for an early comeback, but I don't reckon he'll get there. And North Melbourne, they've got Griffin Logue out, and I think Luke Davies... Simkin should come in. I don't know about Davis Uniac. That's not. That's why I think North Melbourne are gonna win. I'm gonna get them to win a Good Friday clash by 37 points and pull up a big upset. Next game we've got Saturday Fremantle versus Adelaide, 1:45 p.m. Afternoon clash. Uh, they had a lot of close ones at the Adelaide Oval. Uh, Fremantle been able to not have a good start what we really expected i put them to be third or fourth on the ladder i don't think they're going to be turn out that good adelaide how good they were against port adelaide was just top class footy port adelaide haven't been able to have it as well but i'm going to tip adelaide to win this one Fremo haven't been able to prove to me that i can tip them to win this game if they had maybe had won the first few games maybe i would tip Fremantle, but Adelaide looking form in this one. I'm going to go Adelaide to win by 21 points. Next game, Saturday, 3rd of April, game 4.35. Arvo Clash, Richmond versus Bulldogs. Um, Bulldogs, my team, didn't know. Pulled up a great win against um, Brisbane. I think it was a great win. Um, we pulled up a great fight in Richmond. That was dusty and... And Hopper will come back in maybe this week and they might have a debutant, I think. But I'm going to go do Doggies to win this one. Even though I have a feeling that Richmond might speed us. I haven't really tipped Doggies opponents yet. But I'm just going to go Doggies to win this one. I don't want to get this tip wrong. And I'm going to go um, Doggies to win this one by 7 points. Next game, we've got St. Kilda versus Gold Coast, Saturday, 7.30 again. Uh, St. Kilda, really in form. Uh, this is going to be a really easy tip. Gold Coast, they're not in form. Oh, well, I th the way they bet got, um, Geelong, they are in form, but uh, they can, they're going to pull up a real fight. I think this is going to be the thriller. I'll get maybe get game the round by the sounds of it. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go St Kilda to win this one just by a point in a thriller. Next game, last game is Saturday, of April 7:30 p.m. Sydney versus Port Adelaide. Um, Sydney, they have had a slobby start after that grand final. Um, I think they lost by a lot of points. I think it was 60 even. It's Melbourne, a thrash, and Port Adelaide lost to Adelaide. So two teams who are looking to make a comeback. I think um, Sydney will get on top in this one. And so will Port Adelaide. But Sydney will come out as the winners. After losing a grand final, you got to make a bit of a comeback. And Sydney kind of proved that they're going to win. Port Adelaide, if they lost to Adelaide, I don't 
have belief in them. So I'm going to go Sydney to win this one by 28 points. First game is Sunday. Um, Essendon versus Giants to 10 p.m. Essendon not in form but in form. And same with the Giants here. Giants have copped a lot of controversy and I reckon they're going to beat Essendon here in an upset by 18 points. Essendon, obviously they have a bunch of 50s. Redmond there. Uh, if he gets another game, well, that's just going to be poor work. But um, I just reckon Giants will pull an upset with Kingsley. They popped a lot of controversy with the um, Cornelio umpire to set. And normally it's so green, but it was Cornelio. So I'm going to go Giants to win by 18 points. Next game on Sunday, 9th of April, again, 5.20pm. West Coast versus Melbourne. Uh, this is a really easy tip, Melbourne to win. The way they bet Sydney, there's no chance. West Coast has not even proved one little bit that they're going to be able to beat Melbourne. I'm just going to go Melbourne to win by 75 points and beat West Coast. Next game, we've got Geelong versus Hawthorne on the Easter Monday clash. 10th of April, 3.20pm. I just reckon um, Hawthorne and Geelong are good sides. Geelong haven't been able to pull up what they've been able to do. Um, Salwood obviously retired. Dangerfield's not been able to get up the group. Hawthorne, looking for Fergus Green and Tyler. They came in and had a good effort into the side. Uh, the way Geelong have been going, I have a feeling they're going to get their first win. At the same time, Hawthorne are going to get an upset, I have a feeling. Lewis has not come back. They're going to have to get creative. I'm going to go for this game as Geelong's way just by three points. If Hawthorne win, I, I kind of will regret it, but um, I'll go Geelong to win by three points. Uh, those are my tips for this round. Thank you guys for watching. Might do another video later on this week about the draft or something like that. Uh, so make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, we'll keep on making videos, stay motivated, and yeah, see you in the next video.